Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the digital design of this uh, week's case of the week with the uh, design of the mandibular immediate denture. What my technician has done is uh, she has already scanned the maxillary arch and the mandibular arch. I had removed the teeth from the cast. So uh, she actually had to go ahead and make a uh, bite jig uh, on my articulator so that she can digitize the information. Now you can digitize the information in many different ways. You can, for example, scan uh, the impressions themselves or you can scan the, uh, the cast. And in this case, the technician scanned the cast. And uh, in this scenario, she's outlining basically the outline of the final denture that I want process and uh, going into the depth of the vestibule, capturing all the borders. And as you can see with the, with the CAD CAM design of this denture, um, you have the freedom and the ability to actually go around and uh, adjust your margins, adjust the, uh, the different points on the outline of, uh, of the denture. Uh, so once you have your, uh, essentially your base plate uh, marked out, the technician can go ahead and import from a library of teeth and uh, bring into view uh, some of the teeth that we want to set. Uh, in this case, all the teeth are set together, so uh, the technician has the ability to move them as one unit. Uh, and also, she can go ahead and select the uh, plane of occlusion. There are some minor adjustments that need to be made, obviously. So uh, you see uh, our technician going through and uh, selecting some of the borders and uh, making the slight modifications. So this type of software gives the clinician and the technician a lot of benefits. Uh, one of the biggest benefits for me has been that the time-consuming aspect of setting denture teeth has been really canceled out by CAD CAM technology. So um, the technician can really quickly go through and uh, set the teeth. Uh, you can see that she's festooning. Uh, this would really literally take me uh, hours to do. I actually still like to set my own teeth because uh, I'd like to have a little bit of control in terms of what I want to give to the technician and uh, communicate with the technician. Uh, so usually what I like to do is uh, actually set the teeth and uh, have the technician replicate it digitally for me. So the festooning is uh, done uh, digitally as well. And uh, the other good part about these softwares is that you can set a thickness for your denture base so you have a uniform thickness. Sometimes when I'm using wax it's hard to tell how thick my uh, denture base is going to be and uh, in some areas it might be a little bit thinner than other areas. Uh, in this situation the technician has full control of that so uh, in areas that you can see it's a little bit darker pink uh, the technician can go and add a little bit more wax to make uh, things even. So once the festooning is done and once the denture teeth are set, uh, the technician can go ahead and process this denture. Now there's a couple of different ways of processing. Uh, one of them is uh, you can actually print a denture using a stereolithography printer and uh, have two different colors of material, the, the white for the denture teeth and the pink. Now the technology needs to catch up a little bit because um, uh, obviously the material hasn't caught up with the aesthetics yet, so uh, I think in the near future uh, dentures can be fully printed. Also another way is to invest this uh, denture now. Once it's printed from a, from a regular material, uh, you can invest the denture and you can process it like a normal denture. Uh, and a third way of processing this is to actually mill the denture plate so that the base of the denture is milled and the teeth can be essentially glued in there for final fabrication. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this week's Case of the Week and I uh, hope to see you here next week for another Case of the Week.